Welcome to today's lesson. This is another lesson involving animation, something like my Macromedia Flash, which is a wonderful tool. But here we have the child-centered Purple Mash to animate. And it also offers a great deal of wonderful prospects for project work. So I hope more teachers are going to start using it. But thanks to the grade fours who've shared this lesson with me. This is Erin Bradley from Brian Evan Primary School. We are a school in South Africa, Bryanston, Johannesburg, and we've been using Purple Mash to promote our coding for the last two years. I hope you'll enjoy this lesson. And also, more importantly, the skills of being able to present to teachers in the form of a speech or in some sort of way you can use this to animate so if I click on here launch we'll go over some of the stuff if you go to the first one say for example you're doing a project on the bean excuse me would you please sit down thank you if you're doing a project on the bean uh, we could choose our color now any of these colors are just chosen with a cokey pen and you guys are familiar with that already so if you've got a bean like that, you would have the bean in the beginning. And the bean is lying there with water, sunlight, warmth, everything like a little egg waiting to hatch. The bean has that similarity. You can animate it. And I bring in that for eyes. And I'm just going to show you very briefly, if I bring in... That animation, you can bring in the glint of the sun on the eyes. The bucket tool is uh, over here. Click on that, and I can choose a color. Probably should be yellow. Did you guys do um, growing of seeds this year? Last year. Right, so look at this. This is something you need to know. You drag, release. If I release now, it's two of them. If I turn on the onion skin, the opacity disappears. Now let me explain the word opacity. That means you can't see through it. Opacity means it's, it's non-see-through. But if I click on this, it becomes transparent. So if I had to erase this part of the eye, look at the transparency, you'll see it gets lighter. And that lightness is showing the previous frame. So in the one, I'm on uh, frame two, Frame one is showing through underneath it. It's almost like this frame has become tracing paper. So if I had to choose another color, and I go to this one, and I go over here, I could say the eye is there. Now I want to move it there. And this one I could move there. Well, I'm not getting it right, but it doesn't really matter because I'm just demonstrating. You guys are going to do it properly. And the glint of the eye goes there. Now what should we make it opa opaque? If I click on there, it becomes opaque. Turn it off. Look. If I go to the first one, to the second one, it's opaque. You can't see the previous slide. If I click on the onion skin, you can see through it. It's, it's trace, like tracing paper. So now if I turn the onion skin off, it's once again opaque. I drag, bring it over here, and then I've got my third bean, and it's starting to grow. So you could bring in the element of growth. Just stop going quick. You got what is the uh, coming over here? The roots are they tap roots? I think they're tap roots, and I'll use this to just go like that. All right, so we got the tap roots, and then you got a little bit coming out over there. Oh, I may have pressed the wrong button, the wrong one. So if I bring that out, let's just make background blue over here. Okay, you can add in all the detail, but I, I wanted to go to the last one. If I go over here. And what about, what's going to happen if I press the onion skin? It becomes transparent. So it's not opaque. Opaque means you cannot see through it. And now we can make our changes because it's see-through. If I erase, look over here, if I erase the whole eye, and I erase that one over there, what you see that's lighter is the, the previous slide, that one there. So I can now bring in the changes. Like that. Let's just bring this one over here. 
Okay, but this one, so it's not going to look that great, like that, and choose white. So we go with the fill tool, white, like that. All right, now I can make it opaque by clicking on the onion skin. Doesn't look great, but over here. Now on your tablets, guys, this is important. This is where we're building on what we haven't learned quite before. In your slides, you're going to have to work out how your sound relates to all of these. You will not be able to do this on your computer until we get headsets. So we, you're going to have to do this on your tablet or your home uh, laptop. You click on this, add sound. Now, you can see you've got pre-made sounds. If your teacher gives you a speech to make, you can add your own video recording. You could say, I would like to give a very interesting talk about the germination of seeds. We are growing various seeds in our classroom. Okay, so it encodes it, and now it's part of it. So let's just see that. I would like to give a very, I would like to give a very, now, I would like to cutting give off is the speed. I would like to give a very interesting I would like to give a very interesting talk. I would like to give so a very interesting it back. talk about the. I would like to give a very interesting talk about the. I would like okay, to. So you're going to have to play around with the sound. I've never played around with that sound. So if you take away the sound here, you can take it away. You can see, okay, it didn't record very well. Did you see what I pressed? The red one. So if I click it over here, you can make your sound that it's shorter. This is a speech about the seed. I hope you'll enjoy it. So make it very short, and that should possibly fit in better. This is a speech about the seed. All right, and then this you go with the next. This is a speech about. You go with the next one, and you add in your sound effects. You guys are going to have to experiment to get that. If you want your sound to go away, you click over there. If you want to make another frame, you click over here. So if you bring in sound over here, you go click on there. I don't know how it's going to go. If it'll re go to the next bit of sound. The seed is germinating in the warmth of the sun. Let's see if that encodes. This is a speech about the seed. I hope you'll enjoy it. The seed this is, is a germinating about the in the seed. warmth of the sun. I hope you'll enjoy it. Okay, so I'm getting my sound all messed up. You've got to see if you can get that right with your tablets and your laptop at home. So please make good use. Your tablet will do a wonderful job of this. And... You're going to do an animation, and before I leave, I wanted to show you this. Make sure you save your work. I'll just call this, let's call it Michael W, and I'll just call it, because I'm thinking of Michael when I was doing this with that amazing artwork he does. Go sharing. This is, some of you have forgotten about the shared blog, which is called Brian Evan Films. Look, films at Brian Evan. Look at the films. There's already some people that have posted theirs. Right, we got me. Uh, I know I've, Mia's got some really good ones. Chloe, look over here. Hibernation, the bear. It's taking a while. It's loading there. You can already see it shows their film. You go down. Holden. Holden likes to do horrors. I've seen some of these horrors he's done. The heart. Oh, look at this one. There's a whole lot. Now, how do you post? Go over here. You go over there, you give a title to your work, you write a little bit about it, a summary, and over here you can write some other stuff about your work, telling us a little bit about it. Try to be as descriptive as possible. Press Work Picker. And then you can find your film. Like, look, there's Michael W. I press Choose. And when I go on Save, it'll be added to the blog. I'm not going to add mine because I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. But you would go save and then it's added to the film blog. I'd love to see what you guys are going to produce and add to the film blog. All right, guys. Show us what you can do. Thanks for listening and we look forward to seeing what you guys are going to post.